YouTube, YouTube, what's going on with your boy Trucker Rob here? Just irritated by these e-logs, you know what I'm saying? Something about this LED, these, these e-logs got to change, man. Like, for real, for real. It's like, one thing I can't stand, they need to have some kind of way. They need to rewrite them in some kind of way. Well, you could temporarily stop this clock. They need to have a macro that you could temporarily stop this clock. What I mean by that is, I'm not saying, oh, you want to go to the mall or you want to go to the movies or in the middle of a shift, so let me stop this clock. No, I mean, like, if you arrive at a shipper or you you arrive at a, a receiver and the trailer is not ready or either they unload you too slow or either you might got, uh, you know, for instance, let me, let, me, let me make an example. Last week, Last Friday, matter of fact, it's like I had a, I had a late run, you know what I'm saying? I had a late run that um, I had an appointment for them to unload me at like 7 p.m. And it's like I got there at 6:30, you know what I'm saying? I'm always early. I try if I'm late, it's got to be a reason, you know what I'm saying? I got there about 6:30, you know what I'm saying? It took them five hours to unload me. You know what I'm saying? Five hours to unload me. Man, now, my clock steady running. You know what I'm saying? My clock steady running. You know, they got to do something about these e-logs. They need to have some kind of macro that if you come to, you you arrive at the receiver, you know what I'm saying? On time, like you should, you there. You there. But the trailer ain't ready. Oh, we, we short-handed, so it's going to take, you know, we moving kind of slow with the trailer, loading your trailer. Therefore, you know what I'm saying, what if your trailer, you know, they, them take, they take them three hours to unload your trailer. I mean, to unload your trailer. Knowing you got an appointment to get your paperwork and to pick up your trailer at, like, say, 7 a.m. But you don't get your trailer at 11, 11 a.m. Man, now your clock is steadily running. So that means you late for the rest of the day. But damn that, you know what I'm saying? If you there on time, you got proof you was there on time, yeah, you you straight. But at the same time, your clock is running. Now, y'all get done. Don't get me wrong. I'm almost a year in. I'm st I still consider myself a rookie. You know what I'm saying? I got one more week. I'm going to be a year in the trucking. But if I'm wrong now, y'all, please correct me. Please put in the comments... You know, Rob, it is a way you could briefly stop the clock. The only way I know that you could kind of stop that clock right quick is you do, well, at least with my company, you put a mandatory rest break. You take a 30 minute break, it'll briefly stop that clock for like two hours. That's the only way I know. But at the same time, it's like, I'm talking about like you on a job. You arriving at the shipper, you arriving at the receiver. To me, if you cross your you cross your T's, dot your I's, you there on time, you got proof you there on time. It should be a macro that you could put it in that will stop that damn clock, man, because it kills your money. It kills your money. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm with the government. I agree with the government because driver fatigue is a motherfucker. Every driver has experienced driver fatigue. I damn sure know I've done many a times. Which is, you know, which is kind of bad. But at the same time, you got to make your money. So the only thing I can say is you got to kind of do better with your sleeping. Pray. And if you're too damn tired, pull over. Pull over ain't that serious, bro. But plenty of times I pull over. Give a damn side of the road. I don't give a fuck. I pull over. Set me alarm for like 20 minutes. Catch me a cat nap. Give me a power nap. Them things, them, they work wonders. Like, for real, for real. But, yeah, but anyway, back to the subject. The, it is, these e-logs, they got to do something with them, man. They got to do something with them. If you arrive at it, like I said, if you could prove you there on time, and don't get me wrong, even if they do, even if they do make a macro where they could briefly stop that clock, and you could put it in there. Now, I do not see that me personally, me. If I was one programming the shit, I would make it a way you could pro you could stop that clock with a macro, but you also got to have a valid reason. And the only valid reason to me is a ride that shipper, a ride that receiver, they not ready, they not ready with unloading my, they, they, you know, they 
either the trailer, the even the truck is not ready, you know, is not loaded, or either they just taking a long time to unload you, or even to even see you, even though you their own time. Knows I say keep saying their own time. If you their own time, it should be a macro you could put in that you got. You know, you put in your reason why are you why are you putting in this macro. Knowing that I'm not saying no bullshit because you know the, the e laws is is that's the law shit. So if you put in to me, it's like you put in a false macro just because you want to stop the clock because you want to I don't know do anything, go to the mall, go to Walmart, and get some water, you out of water, you know bullshit reasons. You it could be such a determination. That's what I would do. To me, if I could, if I were if, if I was programming these e laws. I would have was like it's a macro you could briefly stop that clock but you got to have a valid reason that's something that's out of your control arrive at shipper trailer is not ready or either these you know arrive at shipper they're not ready or they're not loading me or oh you arrive at shipper oh we kind of short we'll get to you when we can and it takes them about three hours to load your trailer therefore that's three hours off your clock because once you start that clock, it ain't going to stop. You arrive at the receiver. Take them three, four hours to to unload you. That's something out of your control, bro. Now, if you, now if you like I said, was, was a bullshit reason. Oh, snap. Oh, man, I need some water. I got to run. I got to run. I got to park the truck. Run the Walmart right quick. I'm going to put in my macro, blah, 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 to stop this clock. Now that's not a valid reason. That's not a valid reason. Something like that, you know, that's a bullshit reason. And you could be a severe penalty for it. Almost like a termination kind of thing. Because you're abusing the power of briefly stopping that clock. Now don't get me wrong, and me, I would be like, okay, don't put in like say if I was, you know, making some kind of some kind of law that you can't put in that macro unless they got you waiting for like at least two, like at least an hour. And, and you know, talk to the people and they don't know when they're going to unload you or load you. Then you put in that macro, you submit a reason, and that, that's like a law thing. You know what I'm saying? You you scrape. Again, if you're there on time, not you arrive 20, 30 minutes late and now you you fussing because they're not unloading you. Therefore, they could they could easily be like, oh, you wasn't here. So we moved on to the next. So you got to wait till we done finish all these other drivers. Then that way, you should, then and in that case, you screwed. Because it's on you. It's on you. You know what I'm saying? But these e-logs is crazy, man. Like, for real, for real. These e-logs are crazy. This shit is fucking good time. Like, when it happened to me last week, by the skin of my damn teeth, I got back to the yard. I think I had like seven minutes left on the clock. Because I think, now don't quote me on this. I think it took me like three hours to get there, five hours to wait, and then two hours to get, two and a half hours to get back. It was some shit like that. I got back, it was like seven hours left, from, uh, seven minutes left on my clock. I was low as hell, but I got back. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man. I want to see my beautiful wife, man. I want to see that smile and eyes and shit. You know what I'm saying? I can see how your boy, man. I, I don't say I ain't saying I'm the best looking. I ain't ugly either. You know what I'm saying? Looked out, give me, a, got me a nice little, nice little tender roni. Old school times. I'm 36. Though. I can do that. But yeah. Um, anyway, I was bullshit, but she is. You know, Something, please come in. Let me know. Like I said, I'm almost in the game, but I still can take my